In this video, I'll show you how to install NA10 locally using Docker, the easiest way to get up and running in just a few minutes. NAN is a powerful workflow automation tool that lets you connect apps and services together. Think Zapier or Make.com, but open source and with the ability to self-host. Now, NAN does offer a cloud version, which is perfect for teams or production use. But if you're just curious and want to experiment locally without paying anything, the self-hosted version is a great option. And that's exactly what we'll set up today. There are a couple of ways to install NAN locally. You can use NPM, which requires Node.js and a bit more setup, or you can use Docker, which is much simpler and what we'll be using in this walkthrough. With Docker, you can spin up NAN in seconds and shut it down just as easily. No messing around with dependencies or environment issues. It's a perfect choice for testing things out without cluttering your system. So with that, let's get started. Head over to docker.com so that we can download Docker Desktop. This is the tool that will let us run NAN locally in a clean, isolated environment. And don't worry, it's completely free and easy to install. Click download Docker Desktop and download the version for your operating system. In my case, that will be the Windows version. Once the download is complete, run the installer and follow the on-screen steps to finish the setup. After it's installed, search for Docker Desktop on your computer and open it up. Read through and accept the terms and conditions. You will then be prompted to sign in or create a Docker account. This step is optional and you can skip it if you'd prefer. Finally, complete the quick survey and you're good to go. Once Docker has started, we're going to head over to the left menu and click on Images, then select Search Images to Run. Search for N8N. The image we are looking for is N8NIO slash N8N. Click on Pull to download this image. This might take a few moments. Once downloaded, click the Play button to start your container. There are a few optional settings you can adjust, like providing a custom name for your container or choosing a specific port number. In this case, I'm leaving the container name blank so Docker will generate one for me, and I'm using the default port 5678. Once you're happy with the settings, go ahead and click Run. Once Docker has finished setting everything up, click on Containers in the left-hand menu. You'll see your new NAN container listed there, along with a link you can click to open the local install in your browser. Next, you'll be asked to fill in a few details and answer a few questions. You can also choose to enter your email address to unlock extra features like workflow history, enhanced debugging, and better search. If you do provide your email, you'll receive a free license key by email to activate those features. Once you've completed the form, you'll land on the main dashboard and you're now ready to create your first automation. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out our website at theautomationco.ai for free structured courses and step by step guides on automation, AI integrations, and workflow optimization. If you found this tutorial helpful, be sure to like this video, subscribe for more automation guides, and drop a comment if you have any questions.